Hey, John here. A real quickie. Uh, something I should have done years ago. I only realized this this morning. As a courtesy to those of you that don't want to have spoilers as you tinker around, if you fall behind or if you wander into the playlist and you want to see what's going on and the order in which you know it's presented and you want to see the files that match the videos, I'm adding tags that match the video timestamps. Okay, so let me show you, uh, first of all, where the timestamps are. These are the ones in the video itself. So here's the title for the last video that I just recorded. And down here in the left uh, lower left corner, there's a date code. So this is March 4th.1 um, in 2022. Uh, this is the first the way, way I do this. Is this is the date that I record uh, and post the videos. The um, dot one here is if I do more than one in a day, I need a way to differentiate the first one, second one, third one. Really simple, okay? That date code right there is unique in every one of my videos. So if you go into the GitHub repo over here and you click on tags here, now, easy for me to want to slam Microsoft. Uh, this this navigation in GitHub was a hellscape before they bought it. I never have been happy about this. Fortunately, I can just use the command line for 99% of my work and not worry about this. And what I'm getting at is this. If you click tags here, you go to a different place. Then if you click tags here, why that's the... Uh, Somehow that must be more intuitive to somebody that works somewhere that probably has never really tried to manage a project before. Click the one up here, okay? It takes you to a page that represents the tags. If you go to the other one, it goes to not tags, but releases, okay? Now, they might argue that it's because it's in the releases section, but it still says tags. And why to have, I, I, look, I don't know, I could go on for days about things that drive me nuts about GitHub. But it's free, and it works as long as someone tells you which one of the 87 options that appears to be identical is the thing you want. Part two of that rant. Uh, look. This uh, tag here matches a video, and as I go along, I'll I'll put more of them in here. So this is the whole point of this video. If you want to find the the the, uh, the files that match exactly what you see in the videos, you can go into these tags here and find them. Now, if you click on this tag, unfortunately, you're not going to get the source for the version with that tag on it. You have to click down here, which doesn't really give you the source. It gives you the diffs that you probably don't really want to see because these are the diffs between the previous push, not the previous tag. There's a whole other way to define those. I'm not going to get into that right now. But once you're on this page, you can then come over here and hit Browse Files, and that's what I do want to talk about. This is a view from the perspective of GitHub of the files that match the tag that I chose. So if you go down here, you'll see here's this hell the readme file that talks about uh, the chain. This is the, the latest version of the readme file that matches the video with that tag in it. Okay. Now, if you click up here, it takes you back to the head on the main branch, which is the latest, greatest one. At the moment, that was latest commit was 21 minutes ago. And I scroll down to the readme file, you'll notice there's a difference in here. So this is the sum total of all the differences for this particular video release, as I added this note about spoilers here, all right? So if you want to follow the playlist and you don't want to be spoiled, or, you know, if I rearrange the readme file like I did in, uh, you know, this, the, the, the 0304.1, and I moved all the SD card stuff aside and, and link to it here, by the way. Here's the old uh, SD card stuff. So it's still there. But the point is, if you get disoriented or something, this might help you uh, figure out where the various files are and the versions of stuff that match the videos. All right. I'll leave it to you to figure out how to navigate the rest of GitHub on your own. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I, I hope this helps uh, so that you can at least get. Um, resolve any disorientation from uh, things that evolve when you're not looking. All right. Thanks. I'll, talk, I'll see you later.